Hi, CJ with GoDaddy here with Michelle Schulp. Yep. And uh, she's here with me at the Freelance Conference. So nice to meet you. And we're here with our matching hair-ish. She has more colors than me, so she's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna let her tell us uh, what she's doing here this year. Sure, yeah. So. Um... I was actually really, really excited to be invited to speak this year. I heard about what they were doing the last time they did it, and I thought it was it was like an extremely relevant event. And what I liked about it the most was that it covers all fields. I, I'm used to going to a lot of events in the tech space, right? Um, but this is kind of bringing everyone together. So whether you're a tech creative writer or just anything that's independent, I thought that was a really cool like synergy that was happening. That is very cool. And you did speak, so I would love to hear more about what you spoke on. Sure. So I gave a talk on how I mean most of what you most of what you hear about in business is growing, right? So you're independent and maybe you want to start your own business and then turn into an agency or hire more people or expand or get more money or whatever. And my my talk was about kind of stepping back and saying that's valid, that's great, but that there are other reasons that people might be in business and that you should really find the reason that you're in business, because that'll actually change the decisions that you should be making on a day-to-day -day basis. Do you think there's tips that you could tell someone how, if they don't know? Like maybe they don't even know why they're choosing to be in the business that they're choosing, whether it's their passion or whatever. How would they, how would you help them to focus on that? I mean, I would, I would have you look at why you decided to work for yourself in the first place. You know, what was the appeal of it? Is it because you liked having more free time? Is it because you wanted to see your family? Is it because you had a specific financial goal? Is it because you wanted to hire people? Or was it just because, you know, you wanted to do the thing that you loved? Um, whatever that is, like, that should be your driving force behind what you're doing. And it doesn't necessarily always mean that you have to turn this into this huge business. I mean, if your goal was to see your family more, then you probably need to make very different decisions from a person that wants to maybe grow into a 100-person agency, right? Um, and that's exactly kind of what I was talking about on stage today. And how did you get to like where what you're doing with yourself? What kind of path did you take to, or what what drove you to that decision and and to where you are now? Sure. For for me specifically, I wanted to be able to have more control over my day to day life, and I really wanted to be able to prioritize um, being able to travel, being able to take care of myself, um, being able to kind of experience life more richly as I'm going through it. And so those are the things that motivate me uh, on a day to day basis, which is why I go to a lot of stuff like this because that fits perfectly with what. I want to do. Um, and it's also why I no longer work, you know, 80, 100 hour weeks, right? Uh, because that doesn't fit with my goal of taking care of myself. Uh, it definitely means that I'm not going to end up as Steve Jobs, but I'm totally fine with that. I don't want to be Steve Jobs. So, yeah, being ourselves is good. Yeah. I like to be. I think that we are ex prime examples of being ourselves. Right? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so one of the things that people have been saying to me today that I keep hearing uh, and the people that I'm talking with is that the, the different people meeting up in these types of venues, but especially this one because we have so many different types of freelancers here, is it's really cool if you're looking for something and you meet someone else and they can, they can help you with this and this person can help you with that. So the collaborativeness, yep. if that's a word, going on here, is it, like, are you seeing a lot of that too? I definitely do, and that's a big reason that I go to a lot of these events in the first place. Uh, at this point in my career, basically all of my work comes from referrals from people that I've met at events, or met at a meetup, or met on an airplane, or whatever. Um, and I believe that constantly trying to connect with people, not just for your own personal gain, like I'm not trying to always get something out of it, but I also like being able to connect somebody I know with somebody else who can do something. And so that kind of stuff, that richness, is part of the biggest reason why events like this are so useful. Right, it's so rewarding when you see people, other people succeeding, and you see someone struggling, and then you see them have like some big win. Is that so super exciting? Yep. So if somebody wants to get in touch with you, they want to reach out to you or learn more about what you do, how would they reach out to you? Sure. So I am Mark Time Media, basically everywhere on the internet. So uh, Twitter, web address, whatever. Uh, M A R K T I M E Media. Uh, pretty easy to find me, basically everywhere. I'm a millennial, so I'm kind of on the internet, all the places. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a millennial too. I'm just an older one, <laughs> but I do all the things. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. So have a great time while we're here. Is there anything else you want to share? Um, no. Go forth and be awesome. Go forth and be awesome. Yay. You don't, you don't need hair color to be awesome, but don't be afraid of it. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Yeah.